Hi, welcome back, and if you're new, please subscribe. This is Victoria with Victoria Vlogs, and I just thought I might share the contents of this cabinet with you. This has my beading supplies in it. I started making jewelry probably 14 years ago, and then when I had my first kid, once he started walking around and getting into stuff, they got locked up in this cabinet. Well, I picked up the hobby again once he got a little older, and I made a few pieces, but then I had another baby, locked it up again, and then just kind of forgot about it. It's just been sitting here collecting dust, well, hopefully not too much since it's covered, and I haven't really given it much thought, but this week I'm repainting my living room, so I have to remove it out of here so I can move the bookcase. So my goal is to empty this out so I can start painting today. So I thought, well, while I'm emptying it out, why not share the contents of it with you guys? So let's get started. It's a mess. There is so much in here. Like, I don't even remember what all is in here, to be honest. And yeah, there's a lot of dust. That's a bit embarrassing how much dust is in there. Like, this has not been open in probably a year and a half now when the stuff was crammed in there um, after we had our house fire and we moved back in. So, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be dirty. In this one, I have some interesting pieces. These are like pottery almost, like blue and white pottery. There's a butterfly on it. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I remember these. They, they were some of my favorite finds. Itty bitty birds. Then we have some, I think this is fake turquoise. I'm not sure what kind of stone that is. But it doesn't look legit. It looks like it's been printed on. <laughs> and then these little leaves. Let's see. These are pretty. A nice base to start some nice dangling earrings for a formal event. Then pretty closures, hook and loop closure. Oh yeah, I remember these ones. They're like um, crackle glass. And then they used to have pink on the inside of the tube and clear on the outside. You can see I started making stuff and never finished it. <laughs> There was an idea there, it just never came to fruition. Um, some evil eye or all seeing. These are like um, protection beads. There's a couple of them. I like this one. It's um, a glass bead with like, it looks like mercury dipping on the outside and then there's like faceted cuts into it. Like it's, it's interesting. That's the rest of my blue and white ones. An empty container. Let's see what's up here. Ooh, just got the stack in here very precariously. This is a painter's palette. <laughs> it's even blue in this cabinet. I have so many hobbies, it's really hard to keep them all sorted, <laughs> to be honest. Some jewelry making tools. It looks like I'm missing the cutters. They might be somewhere in here. Oh, here's a loose pair of pliers. Some round needle nose ones. I'll just put them in that spot until I find it. Some copper for embossing. I bought this for a project a long time ago. Like, a long time ago. Probably like 18 years ago. And I never got around to doing it. Like one of those um, pie tin safe cabinets with like the punched out design. That's what I intended to do with this and never did it. All right, here's a pair of earrings I had made and tried to sell. I've set up at a few um, craft shows over the years and attempted to sell some stuff and then um, I, I tried to sell online as well. I've sold a few pieces, but I've definitely invested way more into the stuff than what I've made out of it. But it is more like a hobby for me than a business, so I'm not 
heartbreaking about that. This is to just lay jewelry pieces on. She has holes in her ears, and I would put this at the shows whenever I would set up. I'd put like my nicest pieces on my little neck and heads and stuff. Okay. Purse handle. <laughs> Some random fabric that looks like mosaic. Ooh. What is that? It's like crayon or something. Elite trays made in England. Hmm. All right, I had to take a super quick break. So come back and I realized this is gonna take a while at this case. So I'm gonna have to go through the rest of it a lot quicker. Another set of tools, apparently. <laughs> so this is a crimping tool, which I love for um, making jewelry. This one is like an offset piece that's good for like the rings and stuff. So then we're like my more special pieces. Oh, the zippers work on that one, that's why. Let's open like that. Okay. So this, I love, this is a beading palette. A little gemstone though. And um, you just lay out your design on here and it just makes it a lot easier if you're doing beaded jewelry. Oops. All right, so I think it's here. <laughs> here's some stuff I made, I think. Okay, here's some tags. Okay, this was a project I did when I was um, working for the YWCA as like, um, well, what exactly was the position? I'm not sure. Like, I was teaching art courses and stuff like and one of them was with the Girl Scouts and I was teaching them how to make jewelry and how to do polymer clay charms and these are some of the charms that we made we created charms to look like the Girl Scout cookies so this one looks like it has a bite taken out of it so you can see the peanut butter center and then this one looks like it's got the powdered sugar coating on it with a smiley face. I was giving them a couple of options. And that was really cool. Like, I brought a little toaster oven to the class and all the clay. And we sat there and created, like, a bunch of different charms and stuff. Okay, these are some more charms that I made out of polymer clay. They're supposed to look like romp candies. And I was planning on making, like, this really fun, bright, crazy necklace out of them. And of course, I never got around to it, as you see. This is a bracelet I made out of like that springy memory wire. Um, some drop earrings that are dragonflies. Let's see. Another set of drop earrings. And it's kind of funny because I don't have pierced ears anymore. Um, I was allergic to just about everything, so I'm not able to wear the earrings I've made. So I need to sell them <laughs> because I can't use them. My daughter's ears are not pierced. She's kind of lazy, to be honest. So um, I don't trust that she would maintain her ears like she should. So I haven't allowed her to get hers done yet because I think that that should be her responsibility. And I can barely get that child to brush her hair sometimes. So <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna let her have piercings. Some peace sign earrings uh, with some birds. I like these dye. They come in several sizes and finishes. So I think I have some more um, in another container. All right, this is a hair bow I created out of vintage zippers and vintage buttons that I found in someone's trash. They had cleared out a house down the road from us when this elderly lady passed away. And we got bukus of like 1960s and 70s fabrics, zippers, buttons, um, patterns. Like it was crazy. It was such an interesting find. This is a little hair, hair band with like a red, white, and blue bow theme. This was made out of an old men's tie. It's a hair bow. This is one of my least attractive pieces, honestly. <laughs> that was a little embarrassing, but hey, we have, we have wins and we have losses. Um, a little fascinator. 
This one's jade in pink and green jade. Let's get them tangled up. This is a glass piece. I need to bust some of these out and start wearing them with my outfits at work. If I'm not gonna sell them. <laughs> This is one of my favorite necklaces that I've ever made. Like, I uh, put each one individually on an eye hook. And these are beads from when I was a child. Like, I found this box of beads from when I was, like, around my daughter's age. Like, eight, maybe as old as ten. And I made a rainbow out of them. This is my all-time favorite necklace. Like, I would never, ever, ever sell this. Even though it is just cheap plastic beads this means the world to me like <laughs> all right this looks like just a mess <laughs> we'll see what's in here i think this is stuff i was working on and then i quit and that's why it's in this oh no i just released some loose beads that's not good <laughs> oh i adore these these i got from a bead show they're gemstones that are faceted. I don't remember what all stones there were, but there's several different ones. These I got from the dolphin, no, the gay dolphin at Myrtle Beach at the um, gift shop. It's a really famous gift shop there. And it's uh, slices of shells because I was working on creating pendants that were like kind of nature, bohemian, steampunk, you know, kind of a mixture. This one has like a green and brown look to it is why I chose these colors. And then just some really cool pieces here. Um, amethyst. Amethyst is my birthstone. I was born in February. Um, shells, bronzy looking um, chain, wire. Oh, look at this little guy. It's cute and striking. Um, oh, I remember making this. Oh, I'm going to have beets all over this living room. Oh, my gosh. What a tangled mess I have. Okay, this is one that I created out of polymer clay. This part. I love the frog. The log doesn't look so much like a log. as something else. <laughs> but the frog itself is super sweet. It's a poison dart frog. <laughs> And then I uh, did green and red beads around it. Let's see. What a tangle web I have. <laughs> All right. So that was the coolest parts of this tray. I'm going to move on to something else after I show you those pretty agate, agate excuse me, slices. I got a lot of supplies over here. Like, it's all in a small area, but beading supplies are tiny, so it's a lot of stuff individually. Oh my goodness, like a nest. Oh, okay. I had purchased um, a bunch of these vintage bottle caps because I was planning on making sets of earrings out of them. <laughs> the beads were in my face. Oh, this is a watch kit, like, um, if you need to resize your watch band, because I think this thing was only, like, 12 or $15, like, it was really cheap, but every time I would purchase a new watch, I'd have to take out several of the pieces, because I have really small wrists, and the jewelry store would always charge, like, 10 to $15 just to pop out a few little pegs, so... I bought this kit and did it myself, and I'm so happy that I did that because it was well worth it. Oops. All right, I'm not going to shoot everything in here. These are just bits and bobs off of, like, I think sewing machines. Yeah. I was trying to think of some kind of steampunk kind of look. And then this was a belt I had when I was a kid, and I disassembled it. So I can use it for pendants and what whatnot. So that's what that is. Oh my goodness, what's this? All right, just a red velvet base necklace. This is for wire wrapping. There's supposed to be pegs somewhere. I'm not sure where they got to, but you just um, 
put them into the surface of it and you can make different wire wrap designs. It just makes it easier to work with. Mosaic tile adhesive, so random. We have some glue gun, glue sticks. Oh no! <laughs> I killed her, but that's okay. This was a uh, polymer clay mermaid I was working on a long time ago. And she fell apart. That's okay. I should have fired her. I never fired her. Ugh, it's just a random piece of rock. Okay. Okay. We have some closures, some chain. Oh, and these beads. They're like um, polymer clay beads. Cane beads, I think they call them. And there it goes. <laughs> this is a little polymer clay fortune cookie charm that I created. I made like, that's what the Girl Scout charms are based off of. I made this charm bracelet with all kinds of different cookies. And this one, for some reason, the eye hook just refused. Sorry, my cat is jumping around and about to knock something down. Uh, this one refused to hold on to the eye hook. I've tried the polymer, like the liquid polymer clay. I tried um, super glue. I couldn't get anything to keep the little thing in there, so the charm kept falling out. <laughs> this is like an ornament holder. I, I would sometimes make ornaments as well. These were the beginning of little beaded trees. Okay, I don't trust this cat. I'm gonna have to do something with him. Come here, Mr. Gray. What are you doing? Hi. This is Mr. Gray. He's the one causing chaos off screen. He's so sweet. A very, very soft and fluffy. <laughs> He's my sweet boy. He's um a little over a year old now. And he is really, really big compared to the other cats. Like, actually, he might be more than a year old. Okay. Well, this certainly shows how long it's been since I've used it. This is um, for sizing rings. It's hard to tell, but there's the markings on there that tell you the different size of rings. You can also use this whenever you're wire wrapping a ring or even hand hammering because it's very solid. So, I use that a lot when I'm making a certain size ring. Oh my gosh. This is a bunch of itty bitty seed beads. In like a rainbow of colors. I'm not going to open it because they are notorious for going all over. And then the center of it opens up. And I got a bunch of larger beads down in here. Oh my goodness. This is quite this ornament. This one is really neat. This is something I found at the beach. I'm not sure what it is, but it's almost rosy. Like, interesting shapes. And then I have some wire wrapping and stuff and more beads in there. Okay, so that is. Some more of that um, jade and pink. And then this is fluorite, which is like a, a light green and purple stone. I like this one. Oh, shoot. My hair. <laughs> there we go. I like that one. Might have to keep it. Okay. This is me and my This is. A nice utility box made by Keter. I love this box. So the top is filled with all kinds of goodies. Here's the four eye beads. And then we have some pearls, some glass hot pink squares. These are cool. They're like multicolored. I think it's called a B. Um, these are lamp art beads. Like a 3D little dots on them. I was starting one to be like a necklace and never finished it. It was to go with these. 
They're like glass cubes. Oh, this one would be cool to make something for the 4th of July. There's red, white, and blue triangles. All right. And then this piece, it's like a cameo. And then just, you know, assorted um, crimp covers and eye pins, all the goodies you need to create your pieces. <laughs> it's been that long. I forgot. Okay, so this slides open. And then you got these trays in the bottom. These are some of my favorite pieces, which is why they got put in the nice container. <laughs> this is like a lotus flower pendant. And I put this little gem behind it that's multifaceted so that when you're looking at the front of it, you just catch a glimmer of pink. Some big chunky black beads. Oops. I'm just really bad. I think a lot of these are Swarovski crystal. I probably butchered that word. I'm really bad at saying that one. <laughs> Here's some green ones. I love those. Those are some of my favorites. I love the color. Like the the rich uh, cobalt blue and the purple with the gold in the center. Like, this is one of my favorites. Um, I forgot what the stone is. I think this may be aquamarine or blue topaz, but this is a real gemstone gem, uh, bead. I purchased this from one of those beading conventions. Like, we went to a convention center, walked around and purchased a bunch of these specialty beads from there back when I was really into it before I had the kids. <laughs> All right, these are kind of cool if you're re religious. They're um, crosses for making like bracelets. I got these for when I was making jewelry to sell. That's hair pins, more faceted beads, more faceted beads, and our last bit of faceted beads. So a lot of glitteriness in this bin. Which I love. <laughs> okay, next bin. What's in here? Okay. New sweater pen. All right, this looks like it's a lot of pendants and stuff. So you got like a branch here. Cross palms and skull. Key. Filigree clasps, silver plated, um, button clasps, an elephant pendant, a leaf closure, some cute little beaded flowers, rocking key closures, a big peace arm, and some print covers. All right, I can back in there. Just random stuff falling out. Alright, this one appears to be just a bunch of wires. Nothing amazing. Some more wires. These are the colored ones. These are some of my favorites. These skulls. Lots of different colors of the skulls. Some peace sun, which we saw in another piece earlier that I've made. Here's some more of those gemstones. These are my more chunky um, chains. Like this one is painted with like a comic book almost looking design. Crackle glass pieces. Lots of those skulls. Oh, another one. Of those. Right. And this bin. Um, they're like a arabesque kind of shape. This is an extremely long necklace. <laughs> Some more chains. Really big chunky clasp. 
expanding right that wrap some wire around for some unknown reason so drafting dots which is good for more than just drafting like if you're um, creating more work they're good for holding down the paper um, these things here you can see the age of the pack it is yellow it is brittle these beads are probably 15 years old I like them. There's a nice assortment of black and white ones here, and like they're cut away. Like the, these are wood beads that have been painted black and cut away to reveal the white color underneath. So I have a few pieces I created out of these, and I still got tons of them left, obviously. These are really nice. They're crystallized um, pearls. I've used them for a few projects, as you can see. Those aren't full packs. I made like this triple layer um, pearl necklace. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. Some containers, jewelry polishing cloth. Yes, it is. Okay. This is really cool. I have a, a black version with gun smoke kind of metal of this. This is something I bought from Goodwill a while back. I need to glue these uh, gemstones back on it, but it's like the most glittery tie necklace. Like, I love it. It's so gaudy, but I just love it. All right. A Tupperware container full of stuff. Some more faceted beads. I like these. They have like a rough texture to them. And they're lightly metallic, like they're not in your face. Uh, some pink quartz. I'll come in this mess. Oh, look, here's another uh, Girl Scout cookie. This one looks like it may have been a failure, though. Because <laughs> there's like some bubbling on top, and it's a bit, a bit darker than the actual cookie. So, I guess that's why she got put in there. She knows I'm a paper. I'll just bag some stuff in the sun. Oh my goodness, I'm getting the tag. Oh yeah, this is so cute. This is a vintage brooch. Like it's really old. And it's made out of plastic. But I love all these intricate little holes that are cut into it. Like, this is one of my favorite brooches. I didn't know where it was. I thought I had lost it. I'm going to have to start wiping this one because it's just fabulous. I'm, I'm like a young person, but an old lady is embodying me. Like, I love me some brooches and crazy flower prints and gaudiness. <laughs> this is a little hand for displaying bracelets and rings on. It matches the head that we saw earlier. Like that frosted glass thing. These are just little loose beads, like nothing special. Uh, whew, look at all that dust. Oh, here's the pegs for that board for making the wire wrapping. Some more uh, wire. This is jade, and underneath that is some more fluorite. As you can tell, I have a lot of fluorite because that's one of my favorite gemstones. Like, I just love the color combination. Please don't look at my dust. <laughs> oh, this is, I really need to look at it. I'm not sure, I had to continue on that. It's a bunch of flowers in a donut shape and they're glass, like lamp work beads or cane beads. Like, yeah, I'm like cane bead slices. I forgot what the name of this stone was. I think it's just something that's dyed. And then this is turquoise. And when I was working for Target, I made a necklace that incorporated these two in copper. <laughs> and I work quite often because we had to wear red, of course. So I tried to make me some jewelry to go with all our red ensembles. Just some 
completely random stuff. <laughs> like, I guess it's like those things you don't know what to do with. Here's my junk drawer for my beading cabinet. <laughs> Just more containers. I have this stuff to get organized, I just never have gotten myself organized. <laughs> oh yeah, I made a bunch of stuff for my baby shower and these were the beads I used for it, down in these. So that's what that is. I ended up having to do both of my baby showers, although I did get help from my friend with my second baby shower, but I waited around forever thinking my family was going to give me one for my first kid. And it was like due within less than two months and I was like, I'm pulling a plug and doing it. And then my family was like, we would have done it for you. And I was like, we had after he came. <laughs> I'm the type of person that wants to get this out of the way, you know, like, I was like, you come early, you know. Although he waited, he took his time. <laughs> All right, here's some scrapbooking stuff, ladybugs and frogs more scrapbooking for graduation. This cabinet has been a catch-all sometimes. Another brooch with a little blue stone in it. I'm going to keep that out because I like wearing brooches to work. <laughs> oh, look at this weird spiral snake bracelet. That's so retro. This is a pretty enamel bracelet. Um, I can't remember what it's called, like Chinoise, Chinoise. I forgot the name of it, but that's cute. I remember that from when I was a kid. And here's a necklace I wore a lot as a middle schooler. Ugh, I had went through a weird, awkward stage, <laughs> like you know, one of those weird golf stages. Here's a checker necklace. It looks like it's broke though. Where's awful short? I don't know. I think it might just be awful short. I have a thick neck, but it won't work. And there's a snake. I had that when I was a kid. A scarab beetle. Oh, I remember this. I purchased these when I went to D.C. in sixth grade. Oh, I can't believe I still have them. That's great. Oh, here's another snake. I got that there, too. This came from Turkey. Um, it's a little change purse to make it look like a rug. I got that on my visit to Turkey. Um, what's in here? Random key, another random key, <laughs> a rooster, not my style, I'll pass on him. Um, this is a brooch of leaves going through two circles. Oh, this looks real. I think this might be real. <laughs> I think this is a real uh, blue topaz ring. Might need to pull that out before it gets lost. <laughs> a peace sign mood ring from when I was a kid. Oh my goodness. This bag is bringing back some memories. Ah, Tinkerbell. What's up? I used to love Tinkerbell. Okay, moving on. Well, everything's trying to come up at time. Alright. Some wire. <laughs> Whenever I would rewire something in the house. Because this is an older house and has a lot of copper wiring, I would save the wiring and use it for making like trees and things, wire wrap jewelry. Yeah. Here's some leather and some random beads. What is up with all these bags in here? Like, that's annoying. I'm sorry, but I'm annoyed with my lack of organization. <laughs> Some more bags. Oh, these are awesome. I remember these. I got these from the beading show as well. I've yet to use them, but I adore this loud, crazy green look. Look, it would totally go with this shirt. I think the universe is speaking to me. It's time to make a charming green necklace out of these. Oh, right. And here's some big, chunky black ones. Just like those green ones and some chunky black and clear ones. Some loose beads. Some these are some vintage pearls from like the 60s. Scissors. I'm surrounded by 
much of it. All right. What is in here? Containers. Metal findings. Oh, no. This is a bunch of really small loose beads in multicolors. These are some of the first beads I owned as a kid. Here's some more of those gemstone ones. They're really pretty. That was just my kids getting way too excited over their game. So please just ignore the kids screaming out at random. <laughs> so chain. There's uh, an earring in here. Goodness, I just dumped some dust all over them. All right, these are really cute. Oh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And there we go. Like little skeleton. Those are cute. <laughs> that makes me wish I had pierced ears because I adore Halloween. And I would totally wear those. <laughs> Giant safety pin. Beads, beads, and more beads. Actually, that might have to <laughs> Yeah, it is, but it's bright. Ooh, I don't remember that one. Did I make this? I don't like those colors. Oh, I was like, class of 2013. I graduated. And, what? <laughs> but no, this is my college tassel. <laughs> one of the many degrees I graduated with. Oh, Lord. That's pretty bad when you can't remember what all you've done. A big shell necklace. It's retro. This is got brown beads on it. It's a vintage necklace as well. Oh, I remember I got these because I was going to make some crosses for Christmas ornaments. But like those old school nails. And people usually wrap them together to create crosses. Got this for a tree wrapping. Like I, I like these kind of stones because you can wrap the tree roots in between them to secure it. Just a regular quartz. An assortment of beads from the Dollar Tree. I like that leaf, brass leaf tray. I'll probably put that out. I had gotten to another one of those odd rocks. I remember those parts earlier that we saw. Those parts were not from a sewing machine. They were from a player piano. And here is the thing. It says standard action player and patent numbers on the side. And I, I tried to beat it into the shape thinking maybe it could be a weird cuff bracelet. But I had this player piano and it was extremely heavy and I couldn't find anyone to buy it. Like, I couldn't even find anyone to take it off my hands. So, I had to get it out of the unit, and we ended up destroying it. And that way we could move it and put it in the trash. So, when we disassembled it, I took some of the parts from it. I was sad to do that to it. It wouldn't work, though. I'm not sure what was wrong with it, but it would not play. And I had a bunch of player piano rolls that we had gotten out of the trash and I was so excited hoping that it would play but it never did. This is a really old bracelet I had when I was a kid. <laughs> Back in the 90s when neon was the rage. Like, like early, late 80s into the early 90s. <laughs> Here's another necklace. I like that pendant. There's a lot of beads here. On the stretchy wire, and they're all tangled up. I'm not going to try to untangle them. Some clasps, some more beads on stretchy wire, and a random skeleton key. Those are cool for making. Oh, there's some more skeleton keys. Maybe it's not so random. They're good for making pendants out of. They make really pretty ones. Ooh, that one's really neat looking. I 
forgot I had all these. There's like this wire getting in the way here. for my job and <laughs> some of the parts to it and then I have the turquoise red and silver wire in here to make fire pendants with because I made like a whole assortment of jewelry to wear to my job some more wire oh yes I remember this this I bought for a graphic design project when I was in college and these are itty bitty letters and I was making like a sign display thing and I would I put letters on there like it was art I get a little carried away when I do projects <laughs> here's some stones these are rose quartz I don't remember what that one's called it's a light blue color this one's black. This looks like tiger's eye because it's like shifting. And then this one has mica flakes in it, which shine. All right. These were a set of earrings I made. This is a bracelet I did make. Some more keys. Another brass key, which is cool. Started wire wrapping this quartz pendant. Never finished. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting pendant. I think I had harvested this off of something else, but I just realized now he's beheaded. <laughs> There's no head on it. That's funny. So I don't think I'll be using that one. Ooh, here's a perfume sample. What are we? Oh, no, it's not a perfume sample. <laughs> First piece. All right. Whoa. Oh, I thought that was a separate piece. Okay. <laughs> that's a that's a brooch. It's a flower with a butterfly. It like dangles. Oh, that is so cool. I'm going to have to clean that up and wear that one too. That one's neat. I forgot I had it. Here's another rooster. A pretty button. Oh, I remember this ring when I was a kid. And in the center was a little gemstone. But it's a rainbow ring. Maybe I was trying to tell myself something, myself something a long time ago. Like, <laughs> it took me a long time to come to the realization that I'm bisexual. But, hey, maybe I already knew it subconsciously. Oh, here's a little ring with, like, um, I don't know. It looks like a little gummy bear almost. Is this an earring? Yeah. It's got, it's a clip-on earring with the space needle on it it looks like or maybe that's the stratus hotel in vegas because it it doesn't look exactly like the space needle i don't know it's odd looking and then down here is a tea light holder for some reason <laughs> a locket a pretty ring and then just some loose bits and locks Okay, this ring it has a break in it back here. Oh, I remember this one. It had a gemstone right here that was in the break, and then it somehow slipped out. And I was like, I'll see if I can find another one. But it's like plain steel, and then the inner band is the rainbow steel. All right, here's a locket, and there's nothing in it. Let's hope I'm gonna find something. On the surface, it looks like a little pink, maybe red stone. Maybe it's a ruby or a pink topaz. It's so teeny tiny. I can't really make it out. I don't recall where that came from. I don't think this is anything sentimental because I think if it was given to me by someone that means something to me, I would have remembered it. But that one does not look familiar. All right, these are little plastic flowers with a hole in the center. This 
little guy is for displaying earrings on. And we're down to the last two containers here. Let's see what's in these drawers. And then some random <laughs> screw with the drywall anchor just fell on me. All right. So in this top drawer, we have seed beads and multicolors. Some stretchy, whoops, some dry rotted um, <laughs> stuff there. Like, that's no good. These are gold seed beads, clear seed beads, and a mixture of purples, tiny um, packets of needles. These are old. These are from that house. Okay, anything else? Not really. No. Okay. More seed beads. We have clear, white almost. It's kind of, well, it says silver, but to me that looks white. A pink. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like teardrop shaped beads. I think that's something else they got put in there. Um, silver tube beads. These are dark green iris. They kind of look like peacock feathers. Rainbow. Again, like peacock feather on my. So that one has purple too. The blue. Metallic bronze. And black. And here we have a green tone. It's just called Lime AB. These are coppery. They, they shimmer. It's hard to see, but they shimmer. Um, got some copper um, hooks, eyes, beads, lamps, accent pieces. These are some clasps. A little rose pendant, a butterfly, whoops, butterfly pendant, and some red faceted beads. All right. Move on to the last container. We're almost done. I can't believe it. All right, there's my missing cutting tools. They were in the store instead. So I'm going to put those back where they go. More rainbow beads, some sliders. These are beverage hoops, lots of earring hook pieces. Uh-oh, well, I just dumped that out. It's like little springy things. A silver cross, some silver hooks. Like this, I think, is mostly my real silver stuff because I had some special order pieces that people made. Some blue beads, an Eiffel Tower pendant. <laughs> a set of random assorted keys hmm. just drive safely 1961 on the little license plate thing on here <laughs> they were old lots of retro beads these are the ones from my childhood that I created that rainbow uh, necklace using I still have them <laughs> I have a problem all right and then lots of findings, hoops and stuff, class. These are some specialty ones with like flowers. Oh, here's the flower flipped out. Um, those go with those rainbow class we saw earlier. Some metal beads. Great for accenting stuff. And a fishy. Make a fishy fishy. Leave it now. And that concludes it. We have officially went through all of the junk in my bookcase. I almost said in my trunk, but that was not my trunk. <laughs> that will be next time. No, I'm like, <laughs> I do have a few trunks though that need to be going through. I have one that has a bunch of Hot Wheels cars and like NASCAR cars that I collected back when I was a teenager. 
So those are like over 20 years old. <laughs> I'm giving away my age here. Um, so yeah, I might actually go through that then. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to making some more videos soon. We're in the process of redoing the living room. So this gorgeous blue wall behind me is going to change colors in the next couple days. And I'm going to do a reveal of what the living room looks like. I'm doing this on a budget and I mean a tight, tight budget and reusing a lot of pieces. So look forward to that. Talk to you soon. Bye.